Hey everybody, thanks for checking out another fish pod. Uh, I finally got to go fishing for fun. Wasn't any tournament stuff, nothing. Went out and had a good time with uh, actually today's guest, Brian Taylor. He's uh, with Team Hook'em Heavy, Team Sea Mule. And, uh, we had a blast. It was, uh, let's see, Mallory, his girlfriend, Brian, and myself, and we went out to a few places. We caught snook, flounder, trout. We had a really good day, man. We went out there. Uh, everything was biting on the greenbacks. It was pretty cool. It felt good to get out without any pressure and just have fun for once. That was a cool deal. Um, as always, this episode of Fish Pod is brought to you by Sea Mule. Uh, you can check out all their fishing carts and fishing accessories at seamule.com. I wanted to point out one thing here. This is the uh, Guy Harvey magazine right here, and they did a write-up about our sponsor, Seamule. And this is uh, we're doing this from Seamule Studios here, so uh, I thought this was pertinent. But uh, right there, nice little write-up. Said some nice things about them. And uh, put, the, put the picture there. I'll have to put up some pictures. Anyways, I thought that was pretty cool. Guy Harvey magazine. Check that out. Seamule.com. Uh, so, like I said, we had Brian Taylor from Team Sea Mule here and uh, his daughter, Caitlin, and uh, talked about fishing and some different stuff. So, uh, please welcome Brian Taylor. No. That's how big no. you know. He's I have pictures look. in comparison of him standing next to Hunter. Him next to Hunter, Hunter those pictures close. of all of us. Him next to Hunter, you look like you're like a little Hunter. Hunter looks Hunter is, like he's his dad. <laughs> Hunter is huge. Yeah. yeah, he's just huge. That's a big. Yeah. Was he out in the tournament? No. 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 Who was all in the boat? It was uh, me, Caitlin, um, Ty Jeff, and, Jeff. and Ty. Yeah. Right. Hmm? I swear. Across the that curmudgeon or whatever the hell it is. In the hey. <laughs> you need to shut that. Welcome, Sea Mule Studios, live and live. <laughs> and that's our drunk sponsor. Live and live. Host, Winky the Pirate. Winky the Pirate. Hey, don't make me edit this all the heck and back, please. Are you guys live? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We've yeah. been yeah. for the past hey, 20 start minutes. start all over again. Let's go. No, we're going. No, we're going. Anyways. Oh, Who all was on the boat? Geez. Christ. It was me, Caitlin, Jeff, and Ty. Right. Cool. Was that not close enough? Not? <laughs> no, you're good. Talking in the you're mic, good. buddy. Two to four. Two to four. Two. Anyway, you, you don't even need a mic. You can hear him clearer, clearer than you. Oh. It's the same thing on the boat. Phone calls nonstop as we're fishing. How do right? you guys right do that? Right at the magic know. hour. Yeah. Right? He always calls right in that, that golden hour when you need to have lines in the water. Uh, anything yet? You'll be the first one to know, Bobby. Well, I just hooked up, but you <laughs> called and scared to fish. When was the last time you were in a tournament and you hooked up with a big fish and then didn't call the sponsor right away or right afterwards? Well, I never call, but he calls every time I hook uh, up. I guess. I, I just figured well, I like to brag. I would have called right away. Yeah, that's what we got right there. Send him a picture. Nice. Right. <laughs> On camera and everything. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, you guys went went out. It was a battle of the pass. And 15 mile an hour winds. I know, man. It was it was I was going across the bridge. We were going to Gainesville, me and my wife. And uh, I looked over. I'm like, oh, man. I hope they're not out in the middle no, of that. No, it was ridiculous. It we was found, freezing. We found some holes that... Me and Ty have been fishing for a while. That was kind of tucked away, right? And it kind of the tides worked out to our favor. So, so we, we you got guys to hide were, away a little bit. You guys were down south somewhere, but uh, did you make the run, or did you guys trailer back? No, we trailer. Oh man, we, I was uh, wondering because the beach had to have been brutal. Yeah, and, and well, I, no, we run, we run the bridge back. Oh, I mean, the you? beach back. We yeah. ran all the oh, way so to so John's Pass. Into weigh -ins, we ran back. No, nah, we, we came in and we ran the way the tide was. We got to run along the beach, so it wasn't too bad. Oh, so it must have been blowing kind of from the east. Yeah, it was. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so it went bad. So what uh, what all what all did you guys get on the board? We got everything. We got a slam. We caught, um, how many reds we caught? Just one, two? We caught two reds. Two reds, and then uh, we caught quite a few snook. We broke off yeah, we caught some a lot 40 of plus snook. inch snook. We couldn't keep them on, and then um, she caught the trout. I called the trout. Yeah, actually, yeah, she did. Call the trout. You, she won something, right? Yeah. They what they do is combine it on the on the boat. So mm -hmm. sweet. We kind of double dipped. Board, it's great, right? Yeah. yeah it puts it on. <laughs> yeah, we got but, to double dip. That was a good day. We had 
great day pre-fishing. We caught actually probably three times more fish than we did. Was it consistent fishing or was it Absolutely. like kind of choppy? Or was it... No, it was pretty consistent. Right? Well, we got awesome. on them, we made a plan, stuck to it, and it just worked. That's awesome. It did good. So first place, second place, and third place was only a half inch off. I would have thought with the weather, it, was, it would have been a rough day of fishing. I, I actually said that to my wife too. I was like, oh, that's probably rough today. Well, it was. We had 30 teams that didn't even weigh in because oh, they, right. they didn't even catch fish. Right. But... Like I said, we, we happened a few spots that we fished. We found it was kind of kept us hidden, and with that big 24 foot boat, it kind of. What were they biting on? Live bait. I live bait. Just, not, not cut, just. No, we. Uh, the, no, well, that, that huge snook was on a cut of ladyfish. Yeah, fish. That, that, that is true. The two yeah. big snook actually. They were both on cuts of ladyfish. Cut lady fish. All right. That's what I usually use this time of year a lot. And then I yeah, hook yeah up they with were the reds huge. a lot like that. Yeah. The, the only spot, we had to ju- keep jumping spots, though, because. We'd catch one or two fish, and they'd shut down. Shut down. So we yeah. had to jump, jump. But it worked out good. Right. It was this a good time day. of year, they get all spooky because the water's all super clear and everything. Yep. Yeah. That's cool. So what all did you catch? Um, I did not catch a red on the actual tournament day, but I did catch snook and trout. Nice. Yeah, I actually caught our trout like the last 15 minutes. I, I caught, caught I right caught, before you I caught, caught, I caught one before. One more but, cast. Yeah, I caught one before. Actually, I was getting so tired and they were all fishing towards a bank and I just casted way out in the middle of the open and caught a trout that was four inches bigger than our previous one. Okay. So that's it was just how like, the last tournament was. Literally the, right minute, the, the minute the bobber hit the water, it was just like, doink, and there right. it was. So That's exactly how it happened with the trout too. Mm-hmm. That last, what was it, uh, tighten the drag. Tighten the drag, yeah. yeah. it slid us right Same into third grade. And we all we always take trout for granted. We're like, ah, we can catch a trout. We'll get and that was what we were struggling. Always... We got everything else. And then we were circling trying to find some trout. And we went to one of my trout halls. We picked up a few small ones. The because upgrade. We, yeah, because I mean, how the tournament's done, it's, it adds total inches right. you know, of the snook, the trout, and the red. So we kind of was sitting there, all right, we got a 20 what was it 23 inch red yeah, 22 and three quarters yeah, whatever 23 inches red. <laughs> and uh so we kind of said is it going to be harder to get a 30 inch red or is it going to be harder to i mean easier to upgrade on a trout right so that's, we kind of went towards the trout. the trout yeah we went to the trout uh, and then we were just catching steady small so we went back to a red hole to try and up on right. reds at the end and i caught the trout at the red hole Nice. So, so perked out. That's funny how that works out like that, yeah. man. It, especially when you're like debating, man, should we leave now? Should we give it another 20 minutes? Oh, that was the bad part. That's the tough one because you want to make sure you got enough time to get back. Yep. We, we were the we first had people a, to weigh in. We had to leave an hour, cut off our fishing an hour early to be able to make Just it back. Just to make sure. I mean, Because we had an hour run. Bad. Yeah. Well, we had an hour run on a good day. Because that <laughs> the, the spring tight in the drag was uh, Jeff, Brian, and me. And we literally came in with seconds left. I mean, what was it? Uh, Hans was there. And he's telling them, no, they're coming. They're right there. They're right there. I'm holding up the number. It's us. We're here. We're here. It, you you got to give yourself enough time, man. It was rough that day, too, man. We got That was super rough. That's where planning kicks in. Right. I mean, you got to stick. When you make a plan, you got to stick to it. Right. And it, like I said, it showed on that tournament. Yeah, no, we said we were leaving, like, at 2. We're leaving at 2. And that so. we did. Yeah, we left, like, 2.05. Right. That's funny. You were the first ones to weigh in, though. Yeah. You, well, we were, that's another thing. We we could we could weigh up to three thirty, but we we shot for three because tournaments before we lost out on money because Ty goes to the first person to, uh, that right. weighed in. Yeah. So yeah. we said this time we want to yeah, be. You know, some I never the first. thought about that, man. That's that is that's so an that's, issue. That's how we planned it this time. We wanted to be in thirty minutes early, so we knew he was going to be one of the first to weigh in. Right. Fortunately, we were only one of the few to weigh in. That sucks, though. I mean, they should figure out a way to get more people to come in back at the end or something. You know what I mean? Because it kind of lose out. You know what I mean? What do you mean? As far as people coming in at, at the end of the tournament? Oh, yeah. I, the, that's one rule I don't like. I mean, did they have a, the trash can thing there? Or is there a no. division for that? What? No, they did have a mackerel division. Oh, well, that's cool. Oh, yeah. goodness. Did Our, you guys look at any mackerel? Oh, yeah. I yeah, caught, a huge I one. I caught a monster. It was It was On huge. the flats in a foot of water. And uh, I don't want to mention no names, but our sponsor forgot to register us in the <laughs> uh, <laughs> division. That was a money fish. Yeah, and he literally did not. Oh, man. Well, live and learn. So, but good day. <laughs> He's good for that sometimes. Yeah. What tournaments you got coming up? 
Uh, we got the King of the Beach. King of the Beach this, this weekend. weekend. That's right. Offshore yes, guys that's, are going to be doing offshore that. Offshore guys are ki- kicking that. And then who's going to be in that? Hunter, Ty. You got Hunter, Ty, Kyle, Sid, and uh, that's it. That's, that's a solid that's team. Four, that's, yeah. that's how you mean. It's good. That's a good team. Yeah, it's it's better with four. It's it's going to be really rough. So yeah, we, that's why I opted out. That's was, why. That's actually why. I Especially opted with out. my leg after. I, it's just now getting better. I don't want to try and push it. You know yeah. what I mean? That's all I could think about is just trying to steady myself that whole time. It's yeah, it's gonna be rough. I wish them all the luck. They're they're on some good fish. You know, they've been pre-fishing for about two three weeks now. Right. And uh, Hunter's they're Hunter's been on some really bringing good them fish. up. Yeah, I heard Hunter's tearing it up. Out yeah. There. It's if it's any indication of what this past tournament battle of the past was on Kings. It, what do they, they come? They come in in like the the high forties this time of year, right? Uh, not getting much typically, more. but the the biggest one at Battle of the Pass was twenty pounds. Really? Yeah, that's all they were getting, and Hunter was call, um, throwing away twenties. Right. Huh? So they got they got a good shot. Yeah, sounds like it. I'm gonna be down there, chilling on the flat water oh, on the houseboat. Oh, are you? Yeah. Where at? Lake Kissimmee. Oh, I've never been there. I wanted to go. Actually, I was just talking to my wife. We just went up to uh, Itchituckney Springs. Mm-hmm. Have you ever been there? Mm-hmm. Man, that blew my mind. I got. I'm gonna put some video up eventually. But uh, I was putting the camera under the water and everything, and getting all those shots. Yeah, that's that's you, you know what was frustrating though is I brought my fishing poles and everything, and then you get there and find out you can't fish that. You're not supposed to fish at all. You used to be able to fish it. Not anymore because they have tubers there now. The they have a service now, and it drives everybody. If you wanted to. Uh, you could do your kayak up and down. Yeah, you could go you just outside. pay them seven bucks if you bring your own kayak or whatever. Okay, goes. Big breath. <laughs> yeah, won't they bring your boat back up? Like, yeah, you can do it a in. bunch of times. And I actually thought about it, but we, we walked all the uh, trails first. Man, I was wore out from that. And then we went ahead and went through the canoe thing. But, uh, you know, I took my wife there. Of course, she's not paddling. You know, she sits in the front like a sea princess. And I just kind of steer the boat. And then... Trying to do the video at the same time as maneuvering the boat was kind of challenging. So, so I want to go back there. That makes you a good husband. I, I would have her paddle. <laughs> and some excuse like, well, no, gotta, he'd be screaming at me. You better paddle. I have to beg them. That my daughters included. They, I have to beg them to go out to stuff like that. Well, my wife's getting better about it now, but I, I don't, I'm the outdoorsy one uh, in the family. You're lucky if they'll go with you. <laughs> That's why I look at it. My family loves it. But what was frustrating about it was there was like eight. 10 pound bass swimming up to the boat. They know you can't fish warm. I'm like, <laughs> we're coming over these holes and I'm expecting them to just jet. And they're like, hey, what's up? What's going on? I'm like, are you, you kidding me? me? My wife is like, what? I'm like, Did, do you see the size of that bass right there? We, I got a fishing pole with that thing's name on it right there in the so truck. I'm, I'd be fishing. And you know, probably could have. If I just played dumb. We were renting a canoe though. I didn't bring my own. So they set you all up. I, could, I don't think I could have gotten in there. But, if I could have got it, I definitely would have done you it. Because we only saw two other people the whole day. Yeah, one of those one extender of ones that they pole. like, little oh, pocket yeah. pole. The pocket oh, fisherman. Back, yes. back, the, the what? The pocket fisherman. Oh, the, yeah, yeah. Fish Dip's got it. See, Fish Dip's fish dip. got it. Commercial for, <laughs> He's man, on top of the game. You might have to get a sponsorship there. <laughs> Take an itch to tuck me, sneak it in. My sponsor would be mayonnaise. <laughs> fish Dip. Cream <laughs> cheese, mayonnaise. A <laughs> little bit of onion. But I got some cool video. I want to go back there sometime and like really bring the cameras and all that, and then be ready. To, I didn't know that they had those springs and everything there, and you can dive down. There's one this deep hole, but the water's crystal clear. I mean, you can see all the way down in it. But then the other thing I was thinking about: they got these fences up to keep the gators out. But I just watched a YouTube video of a gator climbing a six foot fence. Yeah, no, no, no. So I'm yeah. like, maybe you should let other people go first. And they're not stupid. I'm pretty sure they can walk around. There were kids everywhere after a certain time. I was like, well, I guess we'll just let them go first. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do with my kids. Right? We go out late. That's an alligator like, test. Y'all go out there. Y'all start there, and I'll catch up with y'all. Yeah, yeah I'll be there in a minute if you're still. Oh, no. Ready. Whenever we went no, on the railroad good. tracks, he would send me across the tracks where I ain't supposed to be. He'd be like, you go first. I'll meet you over there in a little bit. See what you catch. <laughs> yeah, but that's. We won't even discuss it. <laughs> yeah. No not incriminating even. evidence. Yeah, no incriminating <laughs> evidence. <laughs> Good snoop hole, though. The internet is very unforgiving nowadays. <laughs> what you doing over there? Drinking my beer. Getting a little glassy odd? No. No, no, I'm good. I'm good. Just listening to the conversation. It's awesome. 
But no, y'all bring your wife, come down to the house, but we'll go. That'd be yeah, it'd be really cool. Is your good fish in there? Yeah. That's uh actually you know what? That's what Kyle was saying. Uh we had yeah. that Kyle Stafford in here. He's yeah. on the Polk State bass team. Right. And he was talking about that. Yeah, they that's where they fish most of their classics. Um I used to do the high school fishing team and that's where we had all our classes. Oh uh, really? Is that you know what we were talking about that with uh Kyle. Did you he got this thing now? There's a program I forget I'll have to post it the link. But they're giving out like five hundred bucks to uh I saw it on the FWC. It's like a grant to help start high school yeah, fishing F- teams. FWC and, stuff. and um I think IFA's in it. The only people I see doing it though are bass guys. I, I was thinking why couldn't somebody start doing that for saltwater stuff? And they do- they tried they tried when I was helping out, but they have to get more structured in the bass where it makes more sense, I guess. Right. Is it just because it's all more complicated being for other species and everything, or what? I think it's ins- more insurance. Really. Hmm. At least if you get stranded on I a lake, figured, you're on a lake. If you get stranded in the ocean, you're gone. Yeah, I guess that's true. I don't know, man. Bad things have happened on a lakes. A lot of man. bad things yeah. happen on <laughs> lakes. <laughs> I lost I'm a buddy of mine on tar- Lake Tarpon. So, yeah. I don't yeah, know. Like, yeah. I, just, I, 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 don't know. I, I don't know. I thought it was a good idea. 500 bucks. I mean, granted, it's not going to get you too yeah, far. Yeah, that's, that's but not if you, even... If you have a start... There's companies that are really into getting kids into the sports and all that. And that's not even the best part of it. Like, the, you have FLW that, that started it, the, the fishing in the high school. But now BASS. You know what? That's the that's who it's through, Yeah, the FLW. Now BASS has joined it, and they hold twice as many tournaments than FLW. They give out actual, like, if you win the, the whole deal, I can't think right now. The tournament. The, yeah, the, the whole series. The classic. Whatever. Okay. If you win the classic at the year, you actually get a full scholarship. Oh, so they're sweet. throwing out full full ride scholarships. I, don't know. I mean, college University of Florida has one of the largest bass fishing teams. Right. Yeah. So it just it that. rolls right into college, and I mean, if you think about it, there's got to be a way to do it, especially with all the internet there, there's stuff ways. There's, you just got to get some people out there to and go ahead and just get them the way and, and do start it. doing it. Because, like I said, bass fishing when they started, it, it just kicked up, and now. I'm gonna bring it up more. I'm gonna I'm gonna start. I, I think we it, should. it's it stopped great. in September or October, the sign up for it, and I think the the next sign up next year is like in May or something. So around that time, I, I, I and I tell you the main problem is the the problem with the bass fishing is is people with boats, the youth can't drive the boat, so they got to have a uh, donor boat, an adult yeah. that would go out there, and it was hard enough to find the bass boats to be able to do it. Right, saltwater's different. You know, it's more specialized. So you got to have bigger boats. I don't know, but the the community that's here, from what I've seen from going out this year and doing all these tournaments and everything, there's a lot of good guys. I mean, Mm -hmm. a lot of good captains and even just local guys that have been around a long time that I'm sure would volunteer for that. Well, if they'll volunteer and get them together, it can happen. I mean, there's an awesome community. Because I know there's there's a lot of kids in high school that they would rather fish salt water. Yeah. Just, just like me, I I fished years and. Well, I'm not putting Federation down the bass tournament. fishing or anything. I just feel like, like for me, I grew up here. <clears throat> I never bass fished, man. I grew up on the beach. It was, I wasn't even a thought. Oh. Oh, you did. Oh no. We have no, a no. podcast foul. I danger, done. danger, Will Robinson. I done the <laughs> you should now. take that one. You should take it. Actually, I should. That's uh, take it. Sea lion lures. Take it. Yeah, take it. We'll stop for a second. And we'll be right back. Hello. Take two. Kapow! A week later, we're back. So, the phone rings. We end there a week ago. What was this? You, you brought in good stuff. That's sea lime lures. They, uh, it's a new product they came out with. They can be used as teasers or These lures. things look pretty cool. Looks yeah. like you get a lot of action out of them. Yeah, Kingfish lures. Really good if we had some video. But, right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's okay. Your video. So work. who was it again? Clint with Ceylon. And where can people find Ceylon? Ceylon.com? Uh, Ceylon.com. Ceylon.com. Where's a, where's a good shot? Give me hands. Hook me up here. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Whoop. There it goes. There you go. Those are sexy. Yeah, they are. I like that a lot. I like the pink one. Is that two in that box? 
No, yeah, it's, well, there's it's, it's, it's one two head and it comes with two bodies. Oh, they're okay. you know you change out. Oh man, hit. I didn't even see yeah, the body on the other side. Yeah, How same. cool is that? It comes with extra. So we got yeah. these for the guys to fish on the Kingfish tournament, but unfortunately they had to post up because it was so windy and rough. Yeah. That was the king of the beach, man. They all got beat up. Everybody that came in was talking about how bad they got beat up. But they're, uh... How cool is that? And then you just attach it to the head, drag yep. it behind you. Comes off. You just spread it open, pull them out, change them up. Okay. Yeah. Lift me up. Hands. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, they're on you there. How cool is that? Oh. Nice. Awesome. Great action. We can't wait to use them. These are dope. But yes, that's what rudely interrupted our. Yeah, everybody's got their phone off this time, right? Yes. Uh, yeah. All right. So, anyways, looking forward to tournaments coming up. We got the Fish Brain tournament. Which fish Brain tournament. Is that which is uh, that's with eye trackers. Yeah. They're not yes, a part. They're they're having they're hosting, but they're doing boats, right? Eye trackers. Yeah, is... Tom said that they it wasn't like that. Eye trackers has no part in the actual tournament itself. That it's like they're doing their boats are doing something. Oh, uh, the well, they're still it's yeah, they're still part of it. Yeah, they're still a part of it. And so I, I'm sure if you go to the Fish Brain website, they're gonna have something about it. What is, yeah. what's this one called again? Do you know? It's just the Fish Brain tournament. The fish. Fish praying. I love fish fishing. I think it's called or something like that. Yeah, it's uh individual tournament. December third. So at Hula Bay. At Hula Bay. December third, Hula Bay fish brain tournament. I'm looking forward and to it. Everybody, I'm looking hey, real forward to it. Why are you looking forward yeah. to it? I get to hmm? fish against my partner. <laughs> that was funny. When I get to fish against uh, my dad. Um, oh, that's right. Yep. Now I get to fish oh, against my daughter and my no boy. Idea. You know what's going to happen. Like oh, yeah. I'm about to slaughter him. Oh, stop. No, that. no, 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 no. Yeah, I'm going yeah. to kill him. This is your first single tournament, yeah. right? Yeah. I'm telling you what's going to happen. I'm Nostradamus right here. She's going to beat all of you. I'm well, going to Dramatically. I'm going to beat all y'all. Yeah, but this is what it's you got. It's the way it goes this, every this time. This is what you have to, to know about the old time of fishing. We have our tricks. All right. She's going to be on the back of boat with me. I and can't trick luck. And he's taught me I, all of his tricks. I can, so. I can I can, face that boat away from the mangroves. I can face it away from the... She'll be on the back. All right. We'll see. I see a little rivalry. See that rivalry right there? Yeah. Are we making any bets? Any side bets going on? Not yet. Oh, I'm trying to stir the pot here. Oh, she's going to be cleaning the house. She no, no, no. I clean the house anyways. Hey. No. <laughs> so where are you going out at? Write this down. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Probably Lake Kissimmee. Oh, really? Yeah, we're going to try it. Yeah, time. okay. Go for the big bass. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we're going to try it. Uh, that's cool. No, I'm, re I'm really excited about that. And then uh, we're going to we're gonna fish uh, Florida Pro next year, which is exciting. That's a, uh, which one is that one? The Redfish. That, that's oh, red, yeah, yeah. Redfish. And that's the one with four. It's a Yeah, there's four series. Four we're going to fish the West the Division. Year. Yeah, they have a West, a East, and a big bend but we're only going to do the, the west division right on uh does that singles too no no that's, no, that's, that's team, team. That's that's team. who are you partnering with my partner Us? yeah duh <laughs> yeah, <really>. <laughs> sorry blonde moment and she's blonde blonde moment uh, that's too funny <laughs> no well sorry. yeah i'm gonna be fishing the fish brain tournament myself too i'll have my boat uh, ready so we can uh, yeah are you doing boat or kayak I'm going to probably go in the boat. My boat. So it looks like Team Samuel is going to take all the yeah, top Yeah, Team Samuel is going to be rocking it out. Yeah. I got I got my, my little 13 and a half footer that's going to get <laughs> back in there where nobody else can get, hopefully. Right. Besides the kayak guys. I will say this. I'm not even going to be in the boat. No? You're going to wade fish most of Yeah. It'll be that time of year. It'll be good for that. Fishing is still so good right then, too. You know? Oh, I know. I I, it's going to be a, It's going to be fun. It's going to be good. <laughs> You gotta use lures, live bait. What are you gonna try? I I was thinking about using lures. I'm probably gonna go all lures. I, go I have lures. a lot of luck. I'll be honest with you. With the artificials in December, and, and that's the thing, I'm getting bigger bites on lures right now than I am mm -hmm. on live bait. And plus, I just feel like you can search faster. Like you can get through an area quicker and just yep. be like, I you know whether or not to spend more I mean, time there or not. They're still catching 40, 47 inch reds right now, so you're gonna have to find them. Right. Do it quick. Cause. How do you manage your time when you're out there for that stuff? I mean, 
for this time of year anyway? It, it depends on what kind of fishing I'm doing. If if I haven't had a chance to pre-fish like I should, I'm typically going to take live bait and I'm going to throw it everywhere. Right. And then when I get, you know, I'm just, then I'm going to start fishing. Right. That's like for me, I feel like as long as, you know, I can get to where I want to be, I can take my time, you know, searching my, my good areas, but just use lures, you know, and just clear out an area doom, 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 methodically doom, 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 get through. and that's the thing about the lures you can do that mm-hmm. you can fan cast even even with live bait most of the time you're throwing out there it sits you're you're covering three four foot and hoping they come by right. and smell it. at least you can fish all that the way kind of fishing makes me crazy after a while sometimes sometimes it's so worth it i totally get it because you get some big fish when you get them like we did off, we, we hooked yeah. into some nice ones in, in yeah. sarasota but uh, uh what was that one sarasota slam the sarasota slam yeah <clears throat> Yeah, it's it's when you get on them with live bait, it's great. But when not, you just, I just I feel, like, you just like, yeah, I just want to start throwing some lures mm-hmm. around. We gotta find something. Come and on, we let's did. do this. Yeah, we, we started did. doing it. Yeah. <laughs> what are you using? But, circle hook for your live bait? Um, no. Forget uh, circle hook. I learned a valuable lesson. This is uh, a bass fisherman originally, though. Yeah, but to. not even. I I lost so many fish on circle hooks this past tournament. It was Good bad. fish. They, it was just you could feel it pulling out of their mouth, and as soon as I went back to my J hook, do you think maybe it could have just been? Did you try switching up the hooks, or was yeah, it just I, you I feel tried like different it's, sizes? It, I just think they wasn't biting real hard. You know, typically to me on a circle hook, if they're real active and hitting real hard, it's fine because they set the hook themselves and it's good. And it could be because I was a bass fisherman. Mm-hmm. I could be setting the hook too soon or whatever, but for me, it just don't work. Right. I, got, I actually threw out my whole circle. Hook. I watch a lot of people that come from freshwater to saltwater do that same. He does it. He does it on the regular. Yep. For six years, I've been telling him, stop setting the hook. It's a circle hook. Stop setting the hook. It's a circle hook. And like over and over again, I watch him do it constantly. And I think it's one of the biggest mistakes people make. I, I don't feel like I lose that many fish with him, but I also don't fish with live bait a lot so i mean right i don't think i lose i don't think i've lost too many fish with the circle hook but it's definitely i know when we're it shark fishing hard. it works great they're perfect for yeah. shark fishing oh, you're using a hook i like them if you got three if you, times if you got chunk well, four times we bigger. target small sharks I mean, you know I, we don't have the rods for all yeah. that big ass but i didn't tell yeah, you about I, the one i saw today in the canoe uh brian was saying something about it Hello, 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 hello. Oh, there I am. Nice. Oh, boy. <laughs> Here we go. There's an edit. All right, tell us yeah, about your so, encounter. Yeah, uh, so I'm back there by the naked guy spot. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. And yep. I'm, I'm cutting up um, some finger mullet on the side of the boat. And I'm in the 16-foot canoe. So this thing, this hammerhead was all of nine feet. And it was about 10 feet, 15 feet away. And it was just coming in nice and slow. And I'm sitting there with a knife and bloody, and I was like, I put that down nice and easy. I looked around, he went out in front of me, heading right towards, I had two chunk baits out. Reeled the first one in real quick. I think I bounced the second one off its head. <laughs> Pulled anchor and went to ankle deep water right. quickly. <laughs> <laughs> That's too funny. Were, I, were you in St. Pete? Uh, I was, I was there Verde? behind, yeah, Tierra Verde. Yeah. Back there, Shell Key Preserve. So, yeah, that was the biggest shark I've seen back there. And we've caught uh, four, four and a half four footers back spots. there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what was that, there? three, four foot of water? Uh, we were in about, I, I could There's say it was about five, six back. feet. I was right off the off the sandbar right where it dips, right back there. Right yeah. where I and, it, and the water was crystal clear, so I could see the bottom, you know. The sun was shining mm-hmm. right there. And that, oh, my God, man. It was, it was, a, little, it was a little sketchy. Yeah, we've seen we've seen them cutting through about a foot of water too. There's like six yeah. footers that go through there, and you I don't understand how they even make it through that deep. Funny story though, did, that, did I ever tell you the naked guy spot thing? No. Oh yeah, oh I'm my about, goodness. No, so there is a no go area where you're supposed to stay out. It's a bird sanctuary behind the island. So yeah. we're on one side. We're t- towards the south end of the island, and we're coming through. And you kind of have to arc around a little bit. To go around the spot, you're not supposed to go in. And plus, it's so skinny, you, you probably couldn't have got through right there anyway. So it takes a good long while to get to the other side of that. 
and we can see off in the distance there's a fellow over there he's in a, got a canoe or a kayak or something and uh he's over there fishing whatever so we're coming around the corner and i mean it takes probably every bit of 15 20 minutes to slowly paddle through that shallow water we even had to drag the the, the boat through a couple spots and then uh we're getting closer and closer <laughs> i'm like dude is that guy naked <laughs> Hans is like, I don't know, man. We keep paddling closer. I'm like, another five minutes worth of paddling. I'm like, that guy is butt naked over there. <laughs> throwing, throwing a cast <laughs> net. A 300-plus <laughs> pound man. Like 5'8", 300 pounds. This dude well, is a big boy. And not even trying to hide himself behind <laughs> his boat or throwing anything. Throwing a net. Like, he just does not have a care in the Doesn't world. I was world. like, oh, my God. <laughs> what if your winky gets out oh, of Yeah. Go. Oh well, my god! I, I get not want to get the clothes messed up, but that that man, that's it's like the naked guy. Spot. So he well, he's he's in our spot that I want to fish, but right. the spot is pretty big. So at first, I figured we're gonna go right. over there and fish too until we saw he was naked and he had no plans of putting on clothes. So we were just like, all right, we're gonna go fish way over. Just wait we're gonna go. When you go by. Not yeah. even you just you went to fishing, like went a little deeper in the water. I was like, oh, all right, we're just gonna. He was waiting. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, he boated over the spot, and he was just hanging out there. Probably had some music going. I, I, I'm gonna get naked. <laughs> well, he didn't even hide himself as we went by. I just could. Like, welcome to Tampa Bay. Fish naked. Go ahead. <laughs> but the cast net thing is what blew my mind. I'm like, oh my god, it's not a net. No, no, dude, stop. Uh, You're gonna pull it off. Crazy count. You didn't pull it off. That's <laughs> All right, so your next tournament is uh, against everybody, including me, at uh, the Fish Brain Tournament. Is there another one after that? Sounds you like can you look that yeah. Fish Brain thing up real quick? Yeah, that's, it's, that's my last uh, tournament for the season. I don't, I don't start back until right. February. Yeah, I got the holidays. Facebook or something. Yeah, I'm getting on their Facebook right oh, now. Okay. I can, I'll, I'll post a little. I'll put their advertisement thing in the video here when we're all done. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for bringing in these lures. These things are cool. Sea lime lures. One more time. Oh, yeah, hold on. What's see. up here? Oh, I'm lazy with the camera work, and I had the yeah. wrong thing. Sea Lime. Nice. Sea Lime.com. Or go on Facebook. They got a lot of videos. Are you guys set up on Facebook? The team? Uh, we got Team Hook 'em Heavy. How do we follow you guys? Uh, just Team Hook 'em Heavy or Sea Mule. Sea C- Mule. Team underscore score C Mule on Instagram. Instagram. All right. Awesome. Yeah. All right, you can check out all this video and more at fishpodnetwork.com. Thanks, guys. Okay. Thank you, Brian and Kaylin, for coming in and talking fishing with me, even though uh, part of that podcast was a week delayed, but uh, we got it done. Uh, that tournament we were talking about was the Fish Brain I Love Fishing Tournament. That will be at Hula Bay here in Tampa on December 3rd. If you go to Fish Brains Facebook page, they will have all the details there for you that uh, on that. And thank you for checking out another Fish Pod. You can check out this video and more at fishpodnetwork.com. And uh, when you're at the YouTube page, help us out. Give us a like and a subscribe. Thanks. We'll see you in the next one. Okay.